Hi and welcome back to Free Science Lessons. By the end of this video you should be able to describe what's meant by the molecular formula and empirical formula of organic compounds. You should then be able to determine these from data. We're going to start by looking at the molecular formula. I'm showing you here the molecular formulas of ethane and butane. Now a molecule of ethane contains two carbon atoms and six hydrogen atoms. So the molecular formula of ethane is C2H6. In contrast, a molecule of butane contains four carbon atoms and 10 hydrogen atoms. So the molecular formula of butane is C4H10. Here's the definition of molecular formula. The molecular formula of a compound tells us the actual number of atoms of the elements in that compound. When writing the molecular formula of an organic compound, we first show the carbon atoms, then the hydrogen atoms. Any other elements are then listed alphabetically. Now, there are a couple of problems with molecular formula. Firstly, the molecular formula does not give us any information on the structure of the molecule. In other words, how the atoms are bonded to each other. Secondly, different compounds can have the same molecular formula. Take a look at this molecular formula. This is C2H4O2. Now, this molecular formula applies to two different compounds, and I'm showing you those here. These are called ethanoic acid and methyl methanoate. So we cannot tell from the molecular formula alone which of these two compounds we're discussing. Okay, we're going to look now at empirical formula. The empirical formula is the simplest whole number ratio of the atoms of each element in a compound. We can illustrate this by looking again at the molecular formula of ethane. Ethane contains two carbon atoms and six hydrogen atoms. To determine the empirical formula, we simply divide both these numbers by the smallest one. This gives us the ratio between the number of atoms. The smallest number is 2. Dividing 2 by 2 gives us a value of 1 for the carbon. Dividing 6 by 2 gives us a value of 3 for the hydrogen. Bearing in mind that we never write the number 1 in a formula, this gives us the empirical formula of ethane as CH3. OK, here's the molecular formula of butane again. I'd like you to work out the empirical formula. So pause the video now and try this yourself. OK, now the smallest number is 4. Dividing 4 by 4 gives us a value of 1 for the carbon. Dividing 10 by 4 gives us a value of 2.5 for the hydrogen. Now based on this, the empirical formula of butane would be CH2.5. However, the empirical formula has to be a whole number ratio. So to convert this to whole numbers, we multiply both numbers by 2. This gives us an empirical formula of C2H5 for butane. OK, now in the exam you could be asked to calculate the empirical formula from data. Here's a typical question. A sample of a hydrocarbon contained 0.48 grams of carbon and 0.08 grams of hydrogen. Calculate the empirical formula. To answer this question, we first need to work out the number of moles of carbon and hydrogen. To do this, we divide the mass of each element by the relative atomic mass of that element. We then divide both numbers by the smallest number to determine the ratio. So pause the video now and try this yourself. OK, our hydrocarbon sample contains 0.4 grams of carbon. Dividing this by 12.0 tells us that we've got 0.04 moles of carbon. We've got 0.08 grams of hydrogen. Dividing this by 1.0 tells us that we've got 0.08 moles of hydrogen. OK, the smallest of these two numbers is 0.04 moles. Dividing both numbers by 0.04 gives us an empirical formula of CH2. Now, in this question, we've been given the masses of the elements. However, you could be given the percentages of each element. But in both cases, you carry out the calculation in the same way. OK, now we can use the empirical formula to determine the molecular formula. And to do that, we need to be given the relative molecular mass of the compound. In this case, our compound has a relative molecular mass of 28.0 grams per mole. To do this, we first calculate the relative molecular mass of our empirical formula. This has a relative molecular mass of 14.0 grams per mole. Next, we divide the relative molecular mass of our compound by the relative molecular mass of the empirical formula. Dividing 28.0 by 14.0 gives us a value of 2. We then multiply our empirical formula by this number to get the molecular formula. 
Multiplying CH2 by 2 gives us the molecular formula C2H4, and this means that our compound is ethene. In the next video, we'll continue looking at different formulas in organic chemistry. Thank you.